All right, folks, Alan Rubel coming back at you for Ozark Mountain Outdoor Adventures. Uh, coming at you with a special treat here this evening. Uh, we're going to be going over some uh, topographic maps and how to read topo maps and just uh, getting into some scouting and, and where to hunt uh, and all those kind of different topics. So uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button to the YouTube channel. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a longer video, so I think I'm going to break it up uh, to a few different parts. But uh, again, we're just going to kind of start out on how to read topical maps for, for beginners. Today, um, with all the cyber scouting that we do on, on, different, on our phone, on, the, on these different uh, scouting hunt apps, uh, Onyx and Hunt Stand and those kind of things, it is so important uh, to be able to read these uh, topographic maps. Um, so we're going to kind of give you a little bit of a beginner's crash course. Uh, it's not something that you pick up overnight, but it is a lot easier uh, than sometimes we'll make it out to be because uh, it just takes a little bit of practice um, just to get the hang of it. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. All right, folks, again, so much. Uh, thank you again so much for tuning in with us here. Uh, we do have season six just around the corner, so we're uh, starting to, to do some scouting, uh, starting to, you know, shoot, dust off uh, the bows and starting to, you know, getting some target practice, practice in the end, doing some, uh, placing some trail cams and those kind of things. And along with that uh, comes, you know, uh, studying the maps, studying the maps. So if you're new to uh, the topographic maps, uh, don't be intimidated by it. It's just something that we all uh, have have gotten into. And uh, again, like I said, it's it's easier than what we make it out to be. So uh, here we have. Uh, I'm just going to kind of go over some real quick pictures here and give you some definitions here of what we're looking at on the map. Uh, the contour line. Uh, here connects points of equal elevation. Uh, each line represents a change in elevation. So uh, these contour lines are basically these larger lines uh, that state uh, what the elevation is. Uh, and then you have these different lines um, that, that represent the shape uh, and different uh, lengths here. We're going to have another slide here we're going to go to real quick. And so this one right here basically this uh this picture here is uh as this shape flattened out and again you have your index contour lines uh your contour lines and your uh, contour in interval so basically uh this this little peak here that we have is we can see that it's 300 uh tall typically in your key uh it's going to give you the key to your map it's going to give you uh what the intervals is and there are definitely some maps that are better than others. Uh, I think uh, our Missouri Conservation Department uh, has updated some of their maps, and unfortunately, I think some of their older maps really had more detail. Uh, the newer maps are a little bit easier to read, but they don't have quite as much uh, detail. I mean, some of these older maps, you could really see a very slight change in the contour of the ground. Uh, so really, that's what we're looking at, is, is the contour and the shape of the ground. Uh, here, but uh, these index contour lines right here are these uh, darker lines, and then the contour lines uh, are the are the smaller, uh, thinner lines in between. And the contour interval is the the space in between the lines themselves. So if you're looking at a place, say up here where the lines are closer together, you can tell that that is a steep a steeper incline than say down in here where the lines are further apart. Uh, so you begin to, your mind, once you know what the lines indicate, your mind begins to create the 3D uh, picture in your mind just by reading the lines. And that's what you're doing is you're reading the picture versus uh, having the picture uh, drawn out in the three-dimensional uh, pattern for you. You're, you're reading the lines and your mind is putting the 3D picture uh, together. So. Um, we'll go on to the next one here. So these are definitely going to be some shapes uh, that you're going to be using. Um, and you'll see these from time to time. And, and really, this is, this is basically what you're seeing here uh, out to the side. 
This one you can tell it has a peak right on the top. Uh, you'll see a lot of these. This one and this one down here are very similar. However, on this one, uh, again with those lines being closer or farther apart, uh, you can see that there, this one has a much deeper valley uh, in between. They're similar shapes, but if you look at the uh, the difference, the peaks aren't near as uh, not near as tall, and there is a uh, lot more space in between each of these uh, contour lines here. But uh, again, you can see this one has a wider uh, interval in between these lines here that indicates this slope right here, and on this side. It has the uh, the glides are closer together for a steeper slope. Just the opposite here. Much much greater, um, longer incline. But that'll give you an idea here. I mean, these are like I said, shapes that we use all the time. Uh, and then once you begin to be able to read read the map, uh, then you're going to be able to make uh, those educated. Uh, choices on on how deer travel uh, with the shape of the of the of the line uh, of the contour of the ground here so again here if, if you're looking at this you can see that you know it's 250 tall I'm not sure if that I guess that's feet generally it's in feet um, but this here is the shape of this and, and you know oftentimes we would be looking at uh, as far as hunting is concerned, we'd be looking at this area right here, or we'd be looking at this right here. Uh, but basically, I mean, that is what we're looking at is um, the contour index lines. We're going to go back to this one right here. Index contour, index contour line, um, and contour intervals. This is a really great illustration, probably the best one have on here for uh, for beginner just to give you all the information and again it's not something that's going to happen overnight uh, but if you uh, kind of are able to understand what these lines uh, represent uh, then it'll give you a better understanding of um, when we start looking at the entire picture from the roadways to the uh, the bedding areas to the water sources and the food sources and travel patterns and those kind of things it all comes into play but first you kind of you, you can learn a lot from the map without before ever putting any foot some uh, boots on the ground on uh, just by looking at these maps so anyway I know that was r a real quick uh, crash course uh, on these topical graph maps uh, but again, you can learn so much about an area without even uh, putting your feet on the ground. Uh, the cyber scouting is so important today. So anyway, thanks again so much for tuning in to us. We're going to get a little bit more in depth uh, on some other, other of these topics. But I wanted to go ahead and get the basics down uh, to give you an idea of uh, if you are new to it, uh, then that way at least you'll be uh, have the information uh, there to continue forward. So thanks again so much. We'll see you next time.